Hi, I'm Brad Roberts from Crash of Stummies, hoping you'll join me in the hang. Well, I think this uh, new record is different from the last one insofar as it's quite a bit heavier. There's uh, more distorted electric guitars on it, the drums are mixed more prominently. Generally, uh, more aggressive, I think. There's one song in particular on this record that's probably more autobiographical than the rest, and that's the one about the little boy who likes to pull his baby teeth out in a variety of gruesome scenarios to impress his friends. And in fact, because uh, when I was a child I had few things going for me, I found I could get attention when I pulled my teeth out, and one night I actually managed to crack out two in a row. When I was writing my own Sunrise, the challenge, as I saw it, was to write a song that was really very sexually explicit and and um, you know almost gross, but but in such a flowery metaphorical way that it would be unoffensive to anyone and. Uh, and um, so I, I, I thought, well, you know, why not use geography as a kind of um, a way of getting things going? Because I could um, use metaphors from nature for parts of the body, and, and because then I could have the couple traverse different um, parts of the globe as their uh, relationship unfolded. When I was a teenager, um, I really got into listening to music a lot. I was into Alice Cooper and Kiss and Jimi Hendrix and any sort of hard electric guitar oriented music I could find. Um, and I started taking guitar lessons. And I had a Marshall 50 watt and an Ibanez that I saved up for with my paper route and all this kind of crap. And um, then when I was 19, I, I came to the conclusion that it would be hopeless to try and ever make a living doing anything like that. I was from Winnipeg, this medium-sized city in Canada where there was no music industry. I had no idea even how to begin, so I went to university. The fact that there's these incredibly long, cold, harsh, alienating winters means that you either play hockey or do something else. And doing something else seems to often be playing in a band in Winnipeg. And there's lots of interesting bands that play there. Well, I am a big XTC fan. I think Andy Partridge is one of the most innovative songwriters going. And um, not only are XTC all very accomplished musicians, but they, they have a, a really innovative take on the pop song, um, which, as far as I can tell, involves using a lot of very unconventional key signature changes and uh, writing melodies that contain notes that you wouldn't expect to find because they're outside the scale that the key is in. Um, and I, you know, actually made a point of sitting down and learning a bunch of Andy's material to, f to figure out just what was going on there mechanically, you know. Um, and it influenced the work I'm doing a great deal. I have spent very little time on the internet, not because it doesn't interest me, but, but because I'm just kind of a technological geek. I don't even own a computer. Um, but recently I've um, been introduced to it, and it looks pretty interesting. I think you'd want to know what you were looking for. Um, I surfed around for a couple of hours once and I got a headache pretty quickly just from the sheer volume of stuff that's out there. When I first started taking singing lessons, my objective was to learn how to sing higher. <laughs> and then I realized that what I was getting out of the lessons was how to use my voice. Um, and uh, I, I came to accept the fact that I did have this obnoxiously low croaky thing going and that I would just have to make the best of it. <laughs> If we were going to change our name from Crash's Dummies, I think I'd rename us the Oxymorons. <laughs>